Hi everyone, my name's Lou Sims and I'm part of the Ciao Bella creative team and welcome to another walkthrough video sharing one of my projects that I've made with the beautiful, beautiful Sparrow Hill paper collection. Um, I'm hoping I've got enough space here to show you the album I've created. Now the album was created following a beautiful um, tutorial by a wonderful lady called Cal Summers and I've taken her idea and I've just tweaked it just a little bit. Now the album is a concertina style album which then opens up so you get one side showing but then on the opposite side you get lots more other places um, you know to put all your memories or your photos, tickets, whatever you know you want to collect. So the album actually, even though it's concertina, is each of the pages is a different size. So that means now that when I look at it, I can use all the different tags and topper sizes within the collection um, to fit, you know, fit my project, which is actually beautiful because I don't have to cut anything down or cut into it if I don't want to. Right, so the front here, I've um, created a little pocket. I've used some of the fussy cut elements from the um, 6x6 fussy cut pad. And I've cut out some of the lovely little tags you get. And they set in a pocket. And, you know, it could be anything in the pocket there. But I thought the tags worked beautifully. I've layered up the initial tags with some more of the fussy cut elements. You know, so you, you can use the tags as is or you can bring your own little bit of personality into them. Right, I'm just going to put them to one side for the moment. So this is my front pocket. So then it opens up and on this side of it I've just created um, a little area where I can put some mats and layers. Now I've created in this instance a, a little booklet where you could put two photographs and I've used some of the papers and again because you get so many elements in the Fussy Cut collection, I've layered up on there to create my little booklet. That can fit in there. Again, if I didn't want to do that, my tags could also fit in there, you know, absolutely beautifully as well. On this side, I've done a belly band. And this is just to put some little wallets, little cards that you can put photographs on. I haven't decorated these because I thought sometimes in an album it's nice to, when you get your photographs on, that you know you can add a little bit more personalisation or journaling. The belly band has been decorated with some of the sentiments. That comes from either the um, A4 Creative Pad or you can find it in the um, 12 by 12 pad. And again, I've brought in some of the flower elements to go alongside it that match in with all the different designs. Moving on to the next page here, I've created another little pocket here which fits in a little photo wallet and I've just decorated with some ribbons and some of the fussy cut elements there, ready to put a photograph on the back and that can sit in there. But then all the other elements that I've created can also fit in here, including the, um, the tags that I originally put for the front pocket so they could fit in there as well. On the opposite side here, I've done um, a little concertina drop down thing and it's held in place with a magnet. So you open it up and it opens up and it then becomes a different area that you can put lots of different photographs in there. The front is decorated. So all in all, I can put one, two, three. I've got an area for four photographs. Sorry if it's going out of shot. It's very hard to get all this lined up. And that just folds back together again and the magnet holds it in place. On to the next section. Again, the pockets, because I love the idea of um, having these pocket parts. And that was part of um, Cal's tutorial as well about using the offcut bits that we'd use to make the album, you know, without wasting them. I've created just some simple mats for some photographs this time. So they're double sided. But on this side, I've used in the um, 12 by 12, you get these beautiful toppers in the shape of a house. And what I've done is I've used it to create a little um, photo booklet. So I've drawn round the initial template and then I've got two areas in here that I can put photographs in, journaling. I didn't know what I wanted to do, so I left them. Um, and rather than make the whole of it 
um, house shaped. I've just cut off there so I could put a square photograph in and then just decorated the back. And that can sit in the pocket. It also could sit nicely in this pocket as well because it fits absolutely beautifully. Now onto the larger pages at the back. Again, one of these little pockets that I can put all my little bits of ephemera in, my tags, journaling tickets, another photo mount that I can put in there. Again, all the other elements that I've already created can go in here so everything can mix and match. Now this is a belly band here, but I made it with a little bit of a difference. So I've taken some of the toppers that we get from the A4 Creative Kit. I'll move this down to see if I can show you a bit better. And it's got a magnet, so this opens up and it opens up like that and this portion opens up. And what I've done is I've just created like a zigzag fold to put photographs in. Um, and then I've decorated each of the other areas with the fussy cut elements. So that can go over like that. And then on the back, I've done the same. So all in all for this, if I slide it along so you can see, I've got a place for five photographs all together. And then they can all be held in place by the band. That's the magnet. I've got the toppers to go on the top and that holds everything in place. Now on the back is just, this is the back of the actual concertina. Um, and that's just done and left plain. But now these are the reverse pages of what I've just shown you. So that now means I can do so much with this style of album. So on these pages, I've just created a, a pocket using one of the beautiful sentiments we get um, in the um, 12 by 12. Again, a photo mat. I've cut out a tag but also the other tags that I use and the other photo mounts can go in. So once you've created all these tags and photo mounts, you can switch them about in the album as you want. This is similar to what I did before, but I've created a whole band. I've used um, another one of the um, card toppers you get or panels um, just to create a flap to hold everything I'm going to do now in place. So that just flaps it over and it's really tricky let's just bring this down just a fraction and you can see i've used another one of the same um, size decorative elements to match so when we come to this page here i've just created a little flap over that opens that can house some photographs each of these i've been decorated using the fussy cut pad and some of the sentiments from the same pad and to hide the magnet, I've used um, elements from the fussy cut pad or fussy cut papers. And that hides the magnet, but also ties in with all the other decoration. And then that closes on top, keeping all my photographs safe or whatever I want to add. Now, moving on to this page, I thought I haven't done anything in this album where I've just kept it for photographs. So I just thought for these, it was just plain photo mounts which you can then add your little bit of journaling in or whatever you want to do. So it doesn't have to be all about interactive. For this pad, so this is getting back to the beginning of the album now. Um, I've just added some smaller photo pads, but what I've done is I've created a double pocket and just creating the squares and cutting off. I've then matted and layer it with coordinating papers so everything matches. And then I've just made myself some little photo mounts this one is just using it decorated with one of the sentiments that you get in the collection. And these can sit here. Again, all my previous things like the tags I've done could also sit in here if that's what I wanted it to do. This side here, I've, I've made um, an element. I've just done a belly band, but I just thought, you know, just for something just a little bit different. I've made another little booklet and all you do is you just undo that ribbon there. Um, she says, hopefully, open it up and this just slips out. I just wanted to do something a little bit different for the booklet and, and just show it off as a little bit of decoration. But I could bring in, you know, some of the other elements that I've made that could go in there. So this, the photo mounts could go in there. Again, the tags could go in there. And I've left this undecorated at the moment because... I think it's nice to have some areas undecorated for you or who you're giving the book to. 
you know, it has a chance to add their little bit of personality. So just to push this back on here, all I'm going to do is, she said, sorry if you can't see, I'm just going to push the ribbon through, use a pokey tool if need be, um, and then I'm just going to slide that ribbon through. Well, I would do if I could grab it. It's now playing. There it is. So I'm just going to literally slide the ribbon through, get that little booklet. It's then going to slide through as well. And we can push it all the way through. It sits on top of that belly band. And I would just do another bow here. It was just something different. And then it's right back to the beginning of the album so as i said it's a like an accordion style album which opens up and so i've got one two three four five six seven eight pages that side so you can see so you could work on it so it was flat and you could put all your different pictures in so now i could work on it so it's flat adding all my bits and pieces in and i then if i fold it over and fold it back up and reverse it over I've still got the same accordion style this side and I've got one two three four five six pages and again it opens up flat so you can then work on it or the person you give the album to can work on it nice and flat nice and easy to put all their little bits in I hope that gives you uh, another idea of how to use this wonderful wonderful collection um, and you know take it as far as you want to go because everything color coordinates matches and it, it really can create the most bespoke albums and also gifts for people i look forward to your company again and i'm going to be sharing a project using the wonderful uh, new black swan collection until next time thank you ever so much bye bye